Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. I know I'm going to relax when she's on the other side of the camera or if you're listening when she's on the other side of the microphone because she provides sound healing, also known as sound baths, where it helps you move past things, heal traumas, just gives you clarity and it works. It is what, and when people think, how is that even possible? She's going to make some, hit some gongs and some crystal bowls. How is that even going to make a difference? You put a song on and you feel differently when you hear the song, correct? Well, there you go. There's vibrations coming out of that song, energy. And uh, that's all a part of what she does. And it's great having her. I don't even know what we, we have an intention that we play for. I even know, I have no idea what it is, but She's back in here. Barb Sounds is with us. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. It's, I want to ask you a question. Now, you call them sound baths, sound healing, but also sound bath. Someone told me recently, if it's going to be a sound bath, that you should be lying down like you're taking a bath. Is that, does it make a difference? You know, what are your thoughts? It does. <clears throat> I mean, I think the, I think the idea of sound bath, and I have no idea where that came from. I mean, it's called sound. I, it's called sound healing, not music healing, because it's slightly different in that we play harmonic instruments, and so it's not like a tune of different notes. You know, when I play my gongs and my bowls, there's like thousands of different notes all playing at the same time, which which actually is is more physically, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually healing. Um as well but sound bath i mean i think it's more just like i mean i i might have called it a sound shower because you know you just let all the sounds we kind of fall but it, it's it's you know i think the idea is you know when you take a nice hot bath you most people relax right a little bit at least but most people when they're doing sound baths they have people lying down like when I do them as well, because what happens in a sound bath is it relaxes your body so that you're as relaxed as if you were in the deepest part of sleep. And so if you're trying to sit up straight, and I'm talking about half hour to an hour sound baths, because those are the standard kind of times. When right. I play for 10 minutes, I don't think it's going to knock anybody out, uh, you know, into that deep sleep. But you know, you shouldn't probably be listening to a sound bath when you're driving a car, for instance. You know, and I, and I have played, um, I played in a church once we were doing a, I was doing a, a concert with the world gong master, John Conroe, and we were playing in a church here in Toronto. And, and um, there was someone, and so everybody was sitting in the church pews, right? Now, people were all kind of packed together, like shoulder to shoulder. So that actually kept most people from falling over. But mm -hmm. there was a gap in like in the front row and there was someone like sitting in the front row. And as we were playing, they just kind of fell over sideways. They didn't fall on the floor, I think, but they just fell over sideways. So they were like basically lying on the on the pew because they were so relaxed. So wow. ideally it is, I mean, you know, especially when I play for an hour for people, I encourage them to lie down somewhere even like in a reclining chair or something so that you're not, you're not, you're not sitting up because it's going to relax all the muscles in your body. And what, you know, it's like trying to go to sleep in a chair. See, when That's I hard. heard initially sound bath, my first thought was when you take a bath, there's immersion, you're in the water. Yep. Yep. So my thinking is you're immersed in sounds, not necessarily have to be lying down to experience it, but to your point, not a bad idea if you want the full impact. Yeah. And relaxation. the other thing is that I always ask people to close their eyes. I mean, if people want to watch me play, that's fine. I don't have anything against that. But our eyes take in, our eyes take in and then our brain processes like, you know, 60 million different like things every minute. So if you're watching me play, then your brain's not going to relax. Because in addition to relaxing our body, Sound baths also relax your mind, put you in the, you know, the alpha th theta waves that people, you know, meditate for a long time to get to. So if you're watching or you're looking around, like, 
you know, if you have your eyes closed, you you tend to just your mind kind of does calm down a bit. And then we'll calm down even more with the sound. Everybody's different. But how long does it typically take somebody to um, get get to maximum immersion in the sound mentally? Well, I always measure it by when people start to snore and not everybody snores, but even people who don't snore when they sleep usually will oftentimes snore because it's just the body, including like your larynx and, you know, your uvula and everything else that just like completely relaxes and that produces snoring. Um, most people, when, when I do my sound bus, most people will be completely relaxed within five minutes, if not earlier. Um, and I, I played one time for a group of, um, first nations women who were doing very, very hard work in their communities. And, um, and they came and most of them were, were younger and there was an older woman. She was probably in her sixties and she came in and she said, you know, it, this is nothing against you, dear, but I'm, I'm really very tense all the time and I don't ever sleep even, and I'm not going to be relaxed. And I was like, okay. You know, that's fine. Like you can just listen to the the sounds. And so I started explaining because most of them had never been to a sound bath. So I started explaining, you know, what a sound bath is like. And two minutes into explaining what the sound bath was like, she was snoring. <laughs> right. Because I mean, everybody was in like reclining chairs. And so this, you know, the person who thought that she that was not going to do anything, for, I didn't need even playing. I was just talking. Wow. And she was just like out. And when when everybody kind of, you know, when the sound bath was finished, like people, you know, were saying how it felt for them and stuff. And she just giggled like the whole way through. Well, I can relate. This is energy healing. So is Reiki. Had a Reiki session. Most everything I've done is is virtual. This was one in yep. person. And this was like two years ago. And I still remember the blissful, warm, serene feeling of falling asleep. And I went with a friend and I don't think I snore. Nobody's ever said anything. My friend said, do you realize you were snoring? <laughs> like I was out so, I was out cold from, you know, the energy, the energy change. So yeah. let's get to it. You're going to play today. Okay. We set an intention before you play and you play for that goal. Uh, what's it going to be for today? Today, I'm going to play for chronic illness and pain. Hmm. Because when you have either chronic illness and pain, sound healing is really, really good. The whole relaxation of the body. Um, it doesn't, it reduces pain levels, you know, for, for a little bit. It doesn't make, it won't make your chronic illness or your pain completely go away. Although in some cases that does. Um, but at least you're going to get a break from it. And when you're chronically ill, you're, you're always in that, you know, you're always in that discomfort and that pain mm. and, and that, you know, maybe sometimes not an ability to live your life the way you would have wanted. And that can affect your emotions and your thoughts and all that kind of thing. But even to have the, the secondary pain and the secondary tension in your body that comes with, you know, critical illness. Um, and, and chronic mm. pain um, to have that relaxed even you know for half an hour or an hour is yeah. like magic it's just like magic i want to start so we don't run out of time okay. i'm going to ask one quick question before you mm -hmm. begin if somebody mm -hmm. really doesn't have that type of pain but wants to experience a sound bath they can get the relaxation properties out of it as well oh, yeah okay there you go. Yes. And, you know, we all walk around with parts of our body, if not all of our body clenched up. That's just how the world is right now. Sure. And people are, are actually, I think, a more tense everybody is now than, say, five years ago, you know, or even a couple of years ago. And and but, you know, when we hold our body in tension, we don't it's it's so chronic that we don't actually notice mm. because it's so become it a way of helpful. life. Yeah. And so everybody who's listening is going to have, I, there will not be, I would be surprised if there was anybody listening um, now or in the future who does not have some, who's not holding some tension and pain in their, in their body or in their mind. I mean, you oh, know, yeah. because people are, people are stressed and that's, 
Yeah. And, and the sounds will go, you know, the sounds and the vibrations will, will go um, into your body and what needs healing, you know, will heal. So I just do intentions just to give examples of, sure. you know, these are the kinds of things that sound healing can help with. Well, let's get to it. You're going to play. You okay. know what I'm going to do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> but listen, but listen. That uh, is good. I'm going to switch to my studio. Yep. And switch my mics on. Okay. So how many minutes do I have to play this time now? You, uh, let's look at uh, about uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. Fantastic. Good. Okay. So to start with, I encourage everybody to take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And on the first exhale, just feel some of the tension in your body. Wherever it is, just start to let go a little bit. And on the second exhale, let some of your thoughts that are scrambling around in your brain all the time, let them just go and, and let them just drift gently down to the floor to rest. And on the third in, in exhale, just let your feelings do the same thing. Your feelings that are all over the place and in your energy field and in your mind and in your body, they can just start to float down to the floor and relax. And then close your eyes and enjoy.
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that felt good. Yeah. It's interesting because if you're playing for um 
<clears throat> something that's primarily a physical thing. This is what I found anyway, when I'm playing for physical issues, which is, you know, usually chronic illness and pain. Um, it's this, the gongs and, and the bowls play a lot louder. Like there's a, there's a lot more powerful, They're not necessarily louder, like hearing wise, but they play more powerfully. And you might think if somebody's in a lot of pain that you should, that you should play gently, right? Hmm. But, yeah. Del more delicate. Yeah. But gently and delicately doesn't give you, you know, the, the power that when wow. you're playing a little stronger, which is going to then, because sometimes, you know, when we have pain in our bodies, we clench all around it. So you have to, you know, it has to be some fairly strong frequencies to start to relax that. It's you, you had me at the uh, chimes. The chimes are, you know, that that's my, everybody's got their, their thing, you know, even in music, some people are into bass. Uh, some people are into drums. I am into bass by the way, which is interesting that I like the chimes <laughs> when you play them. I, I haven't, I haven't quite figured well, that out, but uh, I, the, I just the love Koshi that. Chimes and, the Koshi chimes and the Sapphire chimes, um, they have, there's like a little crystal, um, you know, clangor, but they have eight different little metal bars right? That are all different lengths inside. Mm. So the clangor, so when you, what you get, um, you know, basically you think that you're hearing just like a whole bunch of tinkly high sounds and, and the frequencies, yeah, are like a little bit higher than something like a gong or a crystal bowl, but you're also hearing some, some really deep bass as well in them. It just <laughs> doesn't turn into to like a sound that your brain Right. It's, it's resonating a certain vibration that is yeah. base here. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Barb, how do we find you? If somebody wants to book uh, a sound bath, a demo, whatever it might be, what's the best way? Mm -hmm. The best way is to go to calendly.com slash Barb Sounds. That's my booking site. And you can book a 30 minute consult. Love it. It's free. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just try it. <laughs> we got to yeah. lose. You you might just feel better. I'm 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 chill right now. I thought that was great. I uh yeah. I, I, I look forward to uh when you're with us. I really do. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. I mean, you know, even 10 minutes is you know, it's not as it's not it doesn't do as much as 30 minutes or an hour, but even 10 minutes can do yeah quite a lot of healing. You know, so, this is this is just a uh a, a free sampler is uh you know what we're looking at here lots of free samplers not yeah. not the full meal today uh but you can get that a snack but, it's a snack. Said, thank you <laughs> thank you so much i really appreciate it you're welcome good to see you we'll be right back are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love the podcast business news network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live check out the my tuner radio online radio box and simple radio apps on ios and android or find us online search for business news network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on streama.com and onlineradiobox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay. 